shut the ball valves off at the end of the stick. A pressure tap must be installed in one of two locations. The test port at the center of the check valve on the hammer inlet, or the test port on the inlet ball valve. Connect a 250 bar or 3500 PSI or larger gauge to the test port. If an onboard auto lube is installed, it must be shut off or you will not be able to successfully read the accumulator pressure. To shut the auto lube off, remove the throttle plug from the outside of the pump. Turn the throttle screw clockwise until it bottoms out. Count the number of turns it takes to bottom out so the auto lube can be reset to the correct delivery rate after the test. Open the ball valves at the end of the stick. Run the hammer for five seconds in order to build pressure in the hammer. After five seconds, stop running the hammer, then watch the pressure gauge. The gauge will slowly drop and eventually stop, indicating the accumulator pressure in the hammer. Compare this reading with the specification while taking oil temperature and accumulator temperature into consideration. Once the gauge reaches the accumulator pressure, the gauge will stop for a few seconds, then drop to zero. If the accumulator charge is lower than specification, the accumulator will need to be recharged. If the gauge goes instantly to zero, indicating no accumulator pressure, then the accumulator may need to be disassembled and repaired. Once you've recorded your pressure reading, the gauges must be removed. If present, the auto lube also needs to be reset. Turn the ball valves off at the end of the stick, then remove the gauge. Reset the auto lube throttle screw. Replace the throttle screw plug. If the hammer is ready to return to service, turn the ball valves back on.